As long as you're out here, I really wanted to show you these trellises. This is, I think, one of the better inspirations we've come up with. These things are just uh, what they call pin bar cattle panels. If I can get in here, I'll show you. You find these uh, for sale in farm supplies and hardware stores. And they're just kind of a small movable corral. And they're 16 feet long and a little over four foot wide. And one cold winter, we were trying to figure out what to do about trellises, and these came to mind. And the beautiful thing is, if you'll bend them over, they let you walk through. And they're durable. It's easy to take the vines um, off of these in the wintertime. And they only run between $10 and $15 a piece. Uh, there's only really one trick to making them. Uh, and we arrived at this through trial and error. If you will pin the bottoms about six feet apart and bend them over, the trellis will have sides that are parallel, and it has no stability from the sides. The winds will blow it around. But if you'll bend it in a little bit into the shape of an arch, they are very stable. Uh, now, I've tied several of these together, and you could go as long as you want. But the, there's only one trick, and that is we come down the fourth bar on each side, put a board behind it, and, and take a come along, and squeeze it into 26 inches. And when you let it go, this is what you get. So you could customize it uh, however you would like. But they have been really good to us. We've had, uh, we had tomatoes on these ranges here this, uh, this summer. And they work really well, especially the indeterminate varieties that just keep on growing. They only have one problem. You have to continually weave the vines in and out. If you take off for a week, gravity will take over, and they'll be back down on the ground. To grow the vine crops is easier because they tie themselves on. And they just keep right on going. Uh, with cucumbers or squash, the fruits will hang free and clean and off the ground. And you can just walk through with a basket and pick them. Uh, like these gourds we've got growing over here. Oh, this is really something. Yeah, they, uh, these are dipper gourds. And if you don't uh, grow them hanging, you'll end up like this one, which is kind of set on here. And they'll have curved handles. And you kind of have to sneak up on whatever it is you want to dip. But uh, the fruits hang free. And this would be the same if it were cucumbers or squash. We've even grown icebox watermelons on this style of trellis. You might have to support uh, something like a large cantaloupe that was larger. Maybe build a little sling for it out mm -hmm. of nylon hose or something. Mm -hmm. And just hook it onto there. Uh, once they completely cover it, they will keep uh, the centers fairly well weed free. And uh, we intend to leave these. We've put in a drip irrigation uh, from now on and just till around them. And they have, uh, they've worked out real well. And uh, they're fairly inexpensive. And we've tried most of the other trellis arrangements and, and really like this in the best. This is a great idea. Now, an individual cattle panel is not 10 or $15. It's the entire trellis? No, no. Okay. The individual panels run uh, about 10 to $15. Okay. But that uh, it will last a long time. Sure. They are galvanized. Uh, and once you're set up, and I, I would imagine that you could uh, make a nice arrangement growing ornamental flowers. Yes. You might uh, even espouse your fruit trees on possibility. Yeah, that, yeah just something just for beauty. Mm -hmm. Just use your imagination. We've anchored them into the ground just using what's called T posts cut in half, uh, one post for each panel. Mm -hmm. And we've had some fairly heavy winds when these have been uh, completely covered with vegetation. Hasn't bothered them at all. Now, is the orientation important? Would you want to run them north-south? I believe north-south for, uh, for the sun would be the best. Mm -hmm. uh, as far away as we have them here, the sun seems to come in on each side enough that uh, there hasn't been any shading for the growth. And you can see here, with these trees on the other side even, uh, the leaves have had plenty of sunlight. So I think I would run them, run them north-south. That's a great idea, Bob. It's something you all might want to copy in your own home garden. To Get the vegetables up off the ground. Save some space in the garden, too. And you're back. Yes, and you're back. That's best of all.